Good morning once again, Green Village Church of God. Here we are on a Wednesday midweek connection. I hope that I hope that these videos have been of encouragement to you. I've I've gotten some kind words back. I appreciate that. And um, you know, I just I look forward to the day where we can meet again and, and we can enjoy the fellowship um, just to gather once again. I know you do too. So, but in in the in the meantime, you know, this is an alternative where I hope that uh, we can spend a little time in the Word and, and and have some encouragement with that. You know, this is uh, this is not how we expected it to be uh, in the month of April, but we're looking forward to a time when we can gather again. And I, I know that that's that's hopefully going to be sooner than later. And uh, this is this has helped me to reflect a lot and think a lot about my own testimony. And you know, it's interesting. There's a there's a parallel in Scripture where, you know, we, we, are, we have a responsibility to recognize the Lord. Uh, scripture teaches us that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. You know, just the, the idea of recognizing God for who He is, of honoring Him in that, having the reverence for our Creator who is all-powerful. That's, that's, that's just a basic, um, you know, sort of theological place that we come to is, is understanding God and, and thinking about who He is, how great He is. And I, I often think about this, you know, I have the peace of the Spirit. I have joy that comes from knowing my Lord. I, You know, for me, I think about what a blessing that is. And I often think, how can how can I share that with someone? You know, how can I lead someone to what that relationship is. And, you know, it's, it's a, as a minister, you know, that's a, that's a hard, that's a hard question only because there's really nothing I can do. In other words, there is nothing that I can add to or take from the gospel of Jesus Christ. There will be nothing that I can do uh, that takes the place of the Father calling others to be part of his family, of the Father, you know, the Spirit, the work of the Spirit that comes in and calls people unto himself. That's that's something I cannot do. I, I can be used as his instrument. I can be used to help people and, and to point to that. But that calling is, is only the work of our Heavenly Father. And so I think about that and I think about my own life and, you know, what were the things that pointed me towards God? And there are many. Um, but, but, you know, it's interesting because I mentioned in Scripture, there's like this, this parallel between us calling on Him and Him calling on us. And so I want to encourage you, I don't know where you're at through all of this. I don't know, you know, if you're resting in your faith and, and, and in a strong place of, of peace and joy and, and contentment, or you know, maybe this is drawing you into a place of question and concern about, you know, uh, the physical here and now and, and, and having this, this fear that it would be so easily to, 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 you know, fall into that trap, especially now with everything that's going on in our world. Proverbs 18.10, it says, The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run to it and are safe. You know, I think about that idea of of just recognizing God and, and considering His name. You know, we call on His name, and that is our refuge. That is where we find rest and strength. And it's times like these that have us needing that. We need a place of security and a place of strength. And it's found in the name of the Lord. That sounds maybe like an oversimplification, but I love that. I love that it's, you know, is it that easy that we call out to the name of God and we find refuge, we find rest? Um, but it's our responsibility to call out. In, in Matthew, you know, that famous Sermon on the Mount, Jesus preaches in Matthew 7, 7, he says, Ask, and it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, the door will be opened to you. For everyone who asks, receive. He who seeks finds, and to him who knocks, the door will be open. You know, we, we, have, we have the responsibility of seeking God, of seeking the Lord, like of, of, of 
trying to find him out, like looking for him, and he is not far from us. He is very near to us. He is closer than you think, and yet we are constantly found longing. There's like this this lack of understanding of where he is, and I would suggest to you, and this is this is a reflection of my own of my own testimony. You know, I was caught up in so many things of this world. I was seeking uh, self pleasure and the desires of this world, the things that that had me just completely distracted from the things of God. It, it's not that it's not that He wasn't there. It's not that I don't even I don't even think that at that time in my life He wasn't calling me. I really don't. I just simply wasn't listening. I wasn't hearing or recognizing or seeking the things of God. And that kept me from him. That kept me in a dark place. It led me uh, to the most difficult time in my life. And I was experiencing the wrath of my sin. And I was living in that place. Uh, I think about that often, you know, and I'm so thankful that the Lord called me from that place. He called me away from that. And I responded. I listened. I heard him call my name. And I respond to that. So my encouragement to you is, you know, in this time, it, it, it's, it's a time where we have time to reflect. We have time to pause and to think, maybe remove distractions or maybe look at the things that have stood in the way of us hearing the voice of God. I don't mean that necessarily as an audible voice. It's like, man, oh, I just didn't hear, you know, my name actually called. But the reality is, he is seeking us. He is, he is going after the ones that he has called to be his own. Uh, there's a passage in Revelation, and I love this passage. It's in Revelation chapter 3. It says, Those whom I love, I rebuke and discipline. So be earnest and repent. Here I am. I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come in and eat with him, and he with me. You know, Jesus is saying, I have called you to turn from your life of sin and come to me and rest. That's the place that we rest, and not only do we rest in the here and now, we rest eternally. The passage goes on to talk about it, that he who overcomes, he will sit us down with the Father in eternity, and it's an awesome thing to think about. I I think about that so often in my own life. It's like, that's what I'm looking forward to, that day beyond all of this, when we'll be in the presence of God. But we have the here and now. We have the peace and the comfort and the presence of His Spirit in the here and now. You understand that if we're looking to God and calling on His name today, He brings us that safety. The name of the Lord, a strong tower, those that come in, they will be saved. And we can rest in that. I hope you rest in that. Uh, this is all basically reflected in a, in a song, you know, that I love to do the music and sing praise and things like that. I, I have to thank uh, Cody Martin uh, for helping me out with this. I sat down with him one day at his house and I just had this chorus in my mind. It kind of came to me and I was singing this chorus. I said, this is sort of some words that were laid on my heart. And over the course of the next half hour or so, Cody and I sat and, and wrote this song. And it really is, it is, it is my testimony. It is, it is where I had come from. And uh, so I hope it's an encouragement to you this morning. I hope that you're doing well. And, uh, you know, rest in the name of the Lord. Seek Him. Seek Him. You know, listen. Listen for what God is trying to tell you through all of this. And he will give you rest. He will bring you to a place of peace. And I hope that's, that, that is my prayer for you today. I hope that's where, where you're headed in all of this. So this is called, uh, He Called My Name. I was chasing the lie of this world, lost in my Everything I wanted for me
left me empty inside Then he called my name Then he called my name Then he called my name And I'll never be the same I could no longer fill the void in my life I fell down broken and lost I finally turned to him I gave up control Now he is filling my soul When he Listen for your name. 